Okay, hi guys. Today I want to talk about this guy. It's a very simple, cheap drum pad MIDI controller I bought off of AliExpress called the World E. World. I don't know how that's pronounced, but it's World with an E. Uh, Easy Pad 12. And I bought this with the intention of playing some drums with it and I found that the sensitivity is pretty horrible. It just doesn't register hits unless you really hit it. So you miss some hits while you're playing and it's kinda hard to get timing because you're forcing yourself to hit it hard. So I'm going to show you a very easy trick, a mod I guess, but a very very easy mod that anyone could do that I've discovered. So I've already opened it up, there's I think it's how many screws, two, four, six, eight, there's eight screws to get the backing off and then there's four, six, eight, seven more to unscrew this PCB which is the actual pads. You, if you can notice the there's a PCB for the pads and a PCB which is the, the MIDI controller I would assume on this side. So unscrew all the screws and then you can lift this off and you can see here these are all the sensors and then underneath them are the actual rubber pads that make contact to make the hits. But if you can see here, there's kind of a thin plastic spacer, I guess, between the pads and the sensors. And if you remove that and then put it back together, Now, it's not perfect still, but it's far more sensitive. So, very easy quick tip that makes the thing far more usable. Yeah, see, I can actually play it now without forcing myself to hit it harder than I feel I need to so it actually works and you can keep in time. That's it for today thanks for watching hopefully this helps somebody I'm not sure how many people actually bought this yoke it's like a weird obscure Chinese piece of equipment but with that one mod it's as good as any Alesis sampling pad percussion thing so thanks